have I failed this 30 day challenge already with day six? A film that I put on when I'm sad? I may well have done. Let's get into it. Hello everyone and welcome back to day six of the 30 day film challenge. Yes, um, today being a film that I put on when I'm sad. We're going to get into that, but first of all, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, come and join the channel, hit the notification bell so you can keep apprised of all of my upcoming content and use that comment section down below. Let me know what you put on the TV, what film you put on when you are feeling sad, what brings you back up? I'm interested, so let me know. So, like I said, have I failed this already? Or am I just stretching the parameters of the question somewhat? Because, honestly, I cannot think of a film that I put on when I'm feeling sad. Um, there isn't nothing that I generally go to. That being said, there are... TV shows that I go to generally when I'm feeling rather down. Um, TV shows that lift my spirits back up again. There's two. We're going to talk about one of them, but I will cover... Well, I'll, t I'll mention them both, but I'll cover just one. Um, the one that I'll just mention briefly is The Office. The American Office series with Steve Carell. I do have all of the seasons on DVD. I know that there's a Blu-ray set. I don't really feel the need to upgrade it to Blu-ray. I have them all on DVD. Now, when I watch this, though, I generally skip season one because it's more of a blueprint of the British one and what they're doing. And I like the British one, but I do love the American one as well. But I generally start with season two. Steve Carell's character was essentially given a rewrite and he's a different person here than what he is in this. Um, and, and from here it hits the ground running. They just had to get that character right. But that's not the show I'm going to talk to you about. But that's one of the ones that I do put on if I'm not feeling great. And I do enjoy revisiting The Office. And when I generally revisit, I go all the way through to the end. And that's happened a few times. But another one that I put on, which is far shorter, is a British TV show. A British comedy. Very, very funny. And it is... Spaced. Lasted two seasons, 12 episodes. Um, it stars Simon Pegg, Nick Frost, um, and I can't remember the actress's name, um, but there we go. Anyway, it's done by Edgar Wright. Now, for me, yes, this show here just, oh, this brings me back up if I'm not feeling good. Um, okay, so... If you're a fan of the Cornetto trilogy of movies, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, World's End, you're going to like this. Because this is essentially a, a, a precursor to that. This is that. It's, it's, it's as witty, it's as funny, it's filmed in the same sort of style as them with the cuts and the edits and, you know, and yeah, it's about these two flatmates... Um, they don't know each other, but they come together and pretend to be a couple to rent a flat in this big house. Nick Frost is best friend to Simon Pegg. He works in a comic shop. Um, he's recently split up with his girlfriend. Um, and it's, it, 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 it loves pop culture. Um, it's got references to everything, anything. It's highly quotable. Um, it does Star Wars, as in it, it, it takes the mickey out of Star Wars. Season two opens with Simon Pegg dressed in black, essentially what looks like Luke Skywalker's dark Jedi robes in Return of the Jedi. And he's at a funeral pyre. He's, he's, he's setting fire to what looks like, you know, it's akin to Darth Vader's body being burnt at the end of Jedi. And when you get a zoom in, you've got boxes of Star Wars stuff. Because The Phantom Menace has only just come out. And this is his reaction to The Phantom Menace. 
and when he starts having a go at children in the toy shop, in the comic shop, for coming in and wanting to buy a Jar Jar doll and all this sort of thing. Um, it's a very, very funny series. So between this and, um, and The Office, these are two that, that, that do bring me back up. Now, I've gone for this one because it's probably lesser known than The Office. Like I said, it was made before. It was made before the Cornetto trilogy and um but it is it is essentially part of that you know it, it's it's a prequel to them essentially um it's very funny very witty very you know it, it's it's so good it really is Jessica Stevenson is the is the main girl in it she was in Doctor Who um a couple of episodes of Doctor Who with David Tennant um yeah, well worth well worth a watch. If if you like Simon Pegg, um in his younger days, if you like Nick Frost, if you like Edgar Wright, if you like the Cornetto trilogy and you haven't seen this, I highly recommend you pick it up. Um in CEX here in the UK, you can pick this up for, for a couple of quid. Seriously, it's it's dirt cheap, dirt cheap, but you won't regret it once you've watched it. Um so there we go. Have I cheated? Have I cheated? I don't know, but I had to go that way with it because, like I said, there isn't really a film that I put on when I'm feeling um, low or sad or whatever. I, I tend to go to TV. Um, but there we go. So let me know down below um, a film or even TV, even TV if it is TV that works for you. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, and I'll be back tomorrow delving into this question